Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Lacey and I actually teach sixth grade language arts. Um, I wanted to bring you along with me for a week in the life, so I'll film a little bit every single day this week. Um, I am actually doing an essay this week, so I actually have a lot of downtime for myself because while they work, I can go ahead and plan for next week. But I do want to show you my process for essays because I think every teacher does that different. So this week's focus is going to be more so on essays. We did start on Friday, so I'm going to show you what we did Friday and then I will show you what the plan is for today. Okay, so Friday I went over the prompt, which the prompt is about driverless cars, and they are reading two articles, one's a positive article, one's negative, and they get to choose their side and write an argumentative essay. So instead of me just saying, go ahead and write an essay, I gave them an outline, so they will start that, they started that, sorry, on Friday, and then um, today they'll continue it. I also taught them formal style, so there's certain words they can't use, certain pronouns, so I gave them a list because that was really, really tough for them. This is what the outline looks like. It has the prompt at the top if they ever forget it. Paragraph one, it tells them exactly what goes in the intro. Paragraph two, that's the evidence and the reason for their claim. The paragraph on the back is counterclaim because they do have two articles, like I said, so they have the opposite side too, and then a conclusion. So I like to be very organized. If I just told them to write four paragraphs without any guidance, then organization would probably be a bit off. Now for today, today's Tuesday. We had no school yesterday for MLK Day. Today, more of the same. We're gonna work on the outline, and if they finish, they can start the rough draft, but it looks like most people still need a full day of the outline. Um, just a few reminders on here again with the pronouns had listed the ones they can't use and the ones they can and then I reminded them about quotes pretty chill week for me um, I'll walk around and monitor and help as needed but I can really just plan and do my own work as they work I'm on lunch now so the kids have been working hard they've been asking good questions and we're on a good track um, hardly anyone started the rough draft so tomorrow um, we do actually have a quiz tomorrow but it's on the articles, there's nothing new, it's on the driverless cars articles. And then hopefully they will finish the outline if they didn't today and do the rough draft. Thursday is when we make edits, so I do want them to have the rough draft done because I like to do edits in pencil. But just wanted to update you guys, everything's going well, behavior's fine, everyone's working pretty hard, and I am excited to see how the essays turn out. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I didn't get to film that much yesterday. Um, I usually check in with you guys after school, but I had students stay after school with me until like five o'clock. So as soon as they left, I was ready to get out of there. I also have a little bit of a head cold, nothing major. It's not COVID or anything. I feel like we still have to disclaim that even after. It's been a few years since 2020, um, just a little bit of congestion. So I was just feeling a little tired yesterday. So I did pick up my camera after the kids stay after school. Um, but it's now Wednesday. Feels like Tuesday since our um, week started late. But it's now Wednesday and I have about like seven minutes till the kids come. I'm fixing the desks and I am going to show you what we are doing today. Um, this video's focus will be essays and how I do the essay process since every teacher is different. I will film some other stuff here and there. I'll go over some of the plans for next week and stuff. But other than that, I'm mainly going to focus on how I do the essays. I just wanted to give you guys an update and say good morning. And I will show you what we're doing once I fix the desks. Okay, so I have a slide for every day. We actually have a quiz today. It's not on anything brand new. It's actually on the driverless cars articles. So since they're using these articles for the essay, they are already familiar with them. So it should be pretty easy. I'll show that in a second. When they're done, then they can continue working on the essay, finish up the outline, um, and write their rough draft. Some people are ahead, so I'm just gonna have them work on their homework, which is a book report or they can just read a book. But I'm trying to not do a lot of technology, so this is how today's gonna go. So this is what the quiz looks like. This was just going to be classwork, but I decided to make it a quiz grade. Our standard wants them to be able to read articles and figure out what is the author arguing. So these are the articles they've already been reading. One of them is good and one of them is bad about driverless cars, so it should be pretty easy to figure out the claim. They technically have already done that in order to write their essay 
what reason did the article give and what are some quotes you can find in the article. The article also came with three multiple choice questions, similar to how milestones will have like a writing prompt and questions. That's why I chose this prompt. So they're going to tell me the answer and explain. And the back is blank. I think I'm gonna add a part to the quiz since I am making this a quiz right now, um, maybe an objective summary. I still have to decide that, but not a hard quiz at all because they've been reading these articles for a few days now. But that is the first thing they will do when they come in. So I'm on lunch now. I just wanted to give you a super quick update. So as I mentioned, their quiz is today and the back of their quiz sheet is blank because it was supposed to be classwork. So I actually added a part to the quiz. So I'll show you real quick. On the back, they are writing a summary of both articles. Summary is something they've been struggling with. So I decided to add that. And honestly, this quiz is taking the whole class and they haven't really had a lot of time for their essay. But it's important that they understand the articles in order to do well on the essay. So the quiz is still crucial. So that's my update. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch and talk to you guys after school. Quick update, so it is now almost five o'clock and I'm still at work again, but some weeks are like this. Um, the same student who stayed with me yesterday needed to finish a few more things with me, so I had him stay and he just left around 4.30. Um, so I actually decided to stay and make some phone calls. The school wants us to call all the students in our homeroom, their parents, because milestones testing is coming up in May. And of course that's a while from now, but we want quarter three and quarter four to be more meaningful to prepare for milestones. If you're not from Georgia, the milestones is like the big standardized testing at the end of the year. And this is a magnet school. So those scores really count um, maybe even more than other schools because that's how the students got in here and they have to maintain a certain level. So um, I have been calling parents. I'm trying to encourage them. Of course, it's optional and some parents have said no, which that's fine, but we're trying to encourage them to send their student either to after school tutoring or Saturday school. So they just have extra help. Um, but I have 27 students in my homeroom. So it's taking a while. Um, I'm trying to do a few every day, like some every day because I will be overwhelmed if I stayed and called 27 people in one day. So I called like three or four today and I'm just gonna call one more and then I am getting out of here. Happy Thursday, we are so close to Friday. This week, I feel like it's going slow, but also kind of fast. Um, but today we are moving on in our essay process. We are going to start to type. Typically the process for me is an outline, very organized. It tells them exactly what to do. Write a hook here, write your claim here. Then we do a rough draft and make edits with a peer or just edit our own, and then I have them type. We will also go over the rubric. I'm using the milestones testing rubric, so that way if they have a argumentative writing for milestones, they'll remember, oh, here's what I was taught about argumentative, and here's what I know about the rubric. So this is the slide for today. So we're gonna go over the milestones rubric. Um, the rubric is a four, three, two, one system. So we're going to go over what makes a four, which is like a perfect score. That should always be their goal. Um, and then they will start typing and of course try to see what they can do to make the essay match what the qualities of a high score is. So between today and tomorrow, they'll be typing. Um, I'm going to give them today and tomorrow because some of them type slower. Some of them will be editing along the way, so I want to make sure they have enough time. Again, the milestones rubric is a four, three, two, one system, and it's a whole lot of words. It's very overwhelming, even for me as a teacher, and a lot of these words are super big, effectively, counters, all of that. So what we're going to do today is actually put it into more kid-friendly language. So I looked at what a four is. Again, that's our goal, of course, not a one or a two or even a three. And we're going to go through each of the bullet points. I literally copied them right from here. And we're going to just put them into kid-friendly language together as a class so they know what the expectations are. So this is basically our opening. Shouldn't take longer than 10 to 15 minutes, and then they will type. Here I am at work at 5.15 again. So this is not how normal weeks are. I usually don't have kids stay after, but it's been one of those weeks. And of course my job is to help them. So 
I had another student stay. I just walked her to the front to her car and I am now packing up to go home. Um, so today went super well. People were typing their essay. Some people even got done and submitted early. So today was a success. Tomorrow the essay's due. They also have homework due, which is a book report they've had a couple weeks. So tomorrow's gonna be a finishing things up day. And then next week we are finally moving past argumentative. So I'm packing up now. I leave my stuff at work. I don't like to bring work home um, just so I have some separation. You guys know I'm a newlywed, just got married, and I just like to enjoy time with him without worrying about work. So I leave my computer here just in case something were to happen. I do put it in my backpack so it's not just out on my desk. And all I bring home is my lunchbox and my water bottle. Today I sat at my back desk is way back there because when the students use devices I have to watch and make sure they're on the right websites because a lot of times they are not so since they were typing their essay today I was monitoring that so I'm just gonna go back there get my stuff I'm gonna get my purse which is in this desk and I will be on my way so I will check in with you guys tomorrow I, I apologize I didn't talk to you again today um, lunch we had a meeting and then planning period I had a meeting so it's just a lot of meetings this time of year again this is a magnet school so we're preparing for the big test at the end of the year we're trying to figure out what we can do to help the kids be successful on that so it's just a lot going on happy Friday guys it is the last day of the week I do have Saturday school tomorrow I might film a little bit of that I haven't decided yet but I just got to school. I got here a little bit earlier because I actually woke up earlier this morning. I'm super excited to finish up the essay today. Um, and then next week we're moving on to some cool things. So here is the slide for today. They are finishing their essay, so they just need to finish typing and make sure they push turn in on Google Classroom or else I can't see it. Um, when they're done with that, they do have homework due today, which is typically, of course, done at home, but I oftentimes give them time the day to do. Um, I give them book report homework to help them keep up with their goals. There's a certain number of books they should be reading every month and every quarter, so that's why my homework is more meaningful that way. Um, so I know some people are ahead and they're done with the essay and homework, so they can just work on iReady. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm at home now. I was not able to film at work because my few times where I have, I guess, a break, like my planning period and lunch, we had meetings. There's a lot of changes happening. We've been looking at student data, so we're gonna start to move people's homerooms and stuff around, moving their classes around, changing the schedule, so that way those who need extra help based on their scores can get extra help, and those who are doing okay can be enriched. Um, so there's just been a lot of planning for that, so um, I was not able to film. And then after school, I rushed off to get my hair done. As you can see, it was in a ponytail this morning because I knew I was going to get my hair done, and now I got it repressed, all fresh. Um, so it was a crazy day. I apologize for not filming, but I did unfortunately bring work home. I usually don't work at home, but I will explain why I brought work home. So here is my plan. I am going to spend this weekend grading. I never bring the work home. I never work on the weekend. I do sometimes do work at Saturday school because I'm at work, so I might as well get some stuff done. But at home, I never grade. But because of my unfortunate timing, the grades are due for the teachers on Monday um, because progress reports are coming out. And all the grades that I have in the grade book are like quiz grades and classwork grades, basically all the practice things that led up to this essay. So there's not really a meaningful, like a summative grade in the grade book. So I am choosing this. This is not something forced upon me. I want to grade the essay so that way on the progress report they have a real accurate representation of their score because this essay is so big. So I'm choosing to do this. Um, I could easily post the grades how they are, but I feel like this just makes more sense and it's a more accurate grade. So that is what I'm going to do literally starting now. If someone was absent or they didn't finish, 
they're just gonna have to get a missing for now a missing is equal to a zero and they'll just have to do it at a later date because I have to get them graded and once I post grades and they get printed out and progress reports are out then it is what it is so I'm gonna be grading I pretty much have grading essays down to a science so it shouldn't take me ages and ages and I will take breaks along the way um, but I am definitely choosing to have a hard weekend but I love the kids and I just want them to do well so I'm going to try to help their grade out as I just said I'm going to go ahead and start grading I realized I never really told you how I grade because of course I can't put a four or a three or a two or a one in the grade book but basically a four is an A a three is a B a two is a C you guys understand so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, if you have any questions or comments on my essay process comment down below don't forget to like share subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye guys